Hello, friends. Um, today we are going to discuss about an exciting topic, which is uh, on uh, SAS. Uh, SAS is uh, S A A S, as it stands for Software as a Service. So, what is uh, SAS, and how you could you can have your own SAS product? So, that is what we are going to discuss today. Okay. Now, if you haven't uh, come across the term called SaaS, but I'm sure you must have come across some of the companies which are quite big, uh, you know, in this um, in this sphere. But we'll discuss about those companies in a minute. But let's understand what is the SaaS so that you start to think uh, the SaaS-based companies. Um, you know, what comes to your mind? Let's talk about that. Okay, software as a service. Okay, so that means, uh, you know, you have something, uh, you know, whatever you are using, for example, you are now, um, you know, watching me on uh, YouTube, let's say, okay, now YouTube, you know, is, uh, you know, I uploaded, uh, you know, the video on YouTube, and you are watching it. So that means uh, YouTube is a SaaS based product. So that means, uh, there is somewhere in the cloud, they call it cloud. So it is uh, stored, the information or data is stored in the cloud, okay? And you are re retrieving the data by connecting uh, you know, to that uh, server or connecting to that website, okay? So, so connecting to the cloud, okay? So how do you connect? So that means uh, you need internet. So SaaS based, uh, you know, um, uh, businesses, okay, um, are nothing but a cloud based uh, software for cloud based services, uh, if someone is providing so that other people can connect um, through the internet uh, onto that service providers network or through onto their database and uh, they can access the content uh, the software, the data what they have. So it has got many uh, different uses, now, especially SaaS, so software as a service, that when you are talking about software as a service, okay? So that means we are talking about something hosted, that means a software is hosted on the cloud, okay? And that software is being used, okay? What is the use of software? It, uh, it solves certain problems. It, uh, it is used to do certain things. Okay, so that means other people are using that functionality of the software, then that becomes SaaS. So in the case of, um, let's say YouTube, YouTube, you may not call it as SaaS, even though the information is up, uh, uploaded, uh, you know, it is there on the cloud on, uh, you know, YouTube um, host it on, on the cloud, but this is not a software that you are using it okay for to accomplish uh, something okay so uh, but there are so many so that means the extended version of this is the kind of a byproduct or because of the internet revolution because every kind of a household uh, is going to be connected uh, uh, with some form of the internet or the other uh, in the next decade they say whole world uh, will have access to internet and um, so internet penetration is going really, really fast. So that means uh, the software as a service uh, will be, uh, you know, the thing which will be uh, used by each and everyone. So what is the advantage of this? Okay. Now, as this is a cloud base, so the investment becomes very less low investment. Okay. What does that mean? Why this is low investment? So that means, um, you know, if you are looking for, for any software. Let's take the example of some of the companies so that you associate, okay? Now, SaaS is a big thing, you know, so many companies and even uh, individuals or, uh, you know, small businesses also, you know, entrepreneurs also, they are coming up with their own SaaS, okay? So SaaS-based product, okay? So these are some of the big uh, names, uh, you know, in this SaaS uh, space. Uh, uh, now, Salesforce, if you haven't come across uh, Salesforce, that's quite big. It's an enterprise resource planning software. It's, uh, you know, it's kind of a, you know, cloud-based, uh, um, you know, service. Uh, it's quite big, a company. Microsoft 365, okay, Office 365, if you haven't come across Office 365, this is a SaaS-based product. Earlier, 
uh, you know, use, uh, you had to kind of download the software, uh, Microsoft Office onto, uh, it used to come in CD format. Now you just have to log in. So you have to create an account on Microsoft 365 and you have to uh, pay a monthly subscription and uh, you know you can have access to um, the Microsoft's uh, all the services. So that means Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, uh, you know other Microsoft products. Okay. Now similarly, Amazon Web Services. Uh, you know, <clears throat> as a matter of fact, uh, you know Amazon Web Services has gone so big as well that uh, majority of the entrepreneurs of the companies as well they are using Amazon's platform because they are they have become a provider of their cloud platform so that other people can host, other people can upload and host their software, their data on Amazon platform, okay? So that is, that is uh, that's amazing, okay? So that's uh, one of the world's biggest, uh, you know, uh, platform provider for SaaS products, okay? So that means tomorrow, if you are developing your own SaaS product uh, uh, software, uh, you can host it on Amazon. They, they provide you that platform as well. Now, if you haven't come across uh, G Suite, Google Suite, okay. Now that is, uh, you know, an extended version. Uh, that means uh, earlier used to uh, used to have the um, Microsoft Office installed to uh, write a letter. You need Microsoft Word or uh, to do some kind of uh, arithmetic calculations and uh, you know the spreadsheets you needed. So now, if you see, Google has put together everything on the cloud. So do you want to write something? Google Docs is there, okay? So that means you have, again, you need access to the internet so that you can access to these services. That, but your information is there up in the air in the cloud, okay? Now, Google Drive, okay? You can share or store your pictures there, files there, Google Slides and you know Sheets are, are you know kind of similar to Microsoft uh, Excel products, okay, Google Calendar, so Gmail. So now you can see G Suite is quite popular. More, a lot of people are using this, okay. As a matter of fact, I think Google provides you 15 GB, okay, um, 15 gigabyte of uh, memory on the their cloud, uh, completely free, okay. So that's become very, very popular. And what is there for uh, you know, Google? Well, Google, after you use your 15 GB, guess what? They will charge you recurring fee. So that means every month of uses, you have to pay them. And that's a big uh, revenue stream for uh, Google as well, okay? So um, Adobe uh, Creative Cloud. So you can use Adobe's, uh, you know, um, um, all the tools, um, uh, on their cloud platform by getting a subscription of Adobe. And uh, you can, uh, you know, edit uh, photos and videos just by using uh, Adobe's uh, cloud platform. So that means what? Earlier used to, um, you uh, had to download, um, you know, the, the software onto, the, onto your laptop or desktop. So gone are the days now. So now we are getting into a, an age where, you know everything will be on the cloud and if you want to work on anything you just log in and you work there you save your document there and you can share the link to someone uh, if somebody uh, you want to give access to that document to that work piece of work uh, to somebody else you can give them the access just like the way you know you must have seen g suite uh, you know if you are using uh, a document you create and you send that link to someone and that person can you know um, read or uh, will have access to that uh, document, okay? Canva, it's that became a billion dollar company, okay? Um, and what do they do? Uh, again, uh, they are kind of a SaaS based, one of the big companies uh, in that sphere uh, where, uh, you know, you can log in you know, with a monthly subscription as low as $15 per month, I think 15 or uh, $20 per month. And then you can create, uh, you can log in and create, a, you know, uh, use their software online and create a social media post or edit a picture or download, uh, you know, your design, create design. So that's especially designs, you know, different kinds of design. It gives you the access uh, to edit and uh, create different, different designs. And uh, it has become very popular in, uh, in the social media uh, field uh, when social media 
became big and people want to try uh, and create new content, Canva became extremely popular, especially within the creator community. Canva is quite big. Slack, okay. Slack is also a um, multi-billion dollar company and uh, they kind of uh, provide uh, a platform for collaboration, uh, you know, with uh, other, your team members, you collaborate, you can message, you can uh, you know, track the progress of a certain project. So Slack is also very, very popular. So these are uh, a few, okay. But uh, SaaS sphere, there are thousands and millions of, you know, SaaS products out there, okay. But these are some of the uh, products which are very, very popular, okay. So now you understand that SaaS is uh, as something which uh, probably will be used and everyone, uh, you know, will be on, on SaaS or if you uh, are an entrepreneur, you are thinking of, uh, you know, um, having your own uh, SaaS product. I think, uh, you know, every entrepreneur should think about it, okay? Whatever the product or service you are going to sell, why not uh, get, uh, you know, get, get it there on the cloud and, uh, uh, you know, give uh, um, people the access on a subscription based business model. For you, it, it will create an ongoing income source, okay? So subscription based. And for other people as well, it is good so that they are saving a lot of money and they are getting the access to a platform, okay? Uh, you know, a cloud platform, okay? So they don't have to, um, you know, spend that kind of a huge sum of money, um, you know, designing a, and creating their own platform as well. So that means somebody creates one and just give it to other people for a small subscription and other people are benefiting. So it's a win-win for both for creator and for our people who are uh, going to use it. So I think all of us should think about it. As a matter of fact, I am also thinking about uh, thinking about from uh, you know, my own SaaS product as well. So I think uh, you all should, uh, you know, being an entrepreneur, if you are already in this uh, entrepreneurship uh, field, you should also think about, uh, you know, your own uh, SaaS product, okay? So now uh, you, you know about, okay, uh, how, you know, SaaS product can be quite a, um, uh, attractive business model where you can uh, so where you can create a active source of ongoing income now let's talk about how can you create your own uh, SaaS product what are the steps okay so these are the steps first thing is identify the problem you want to solve so okay, just like anything you do uh, in our entrepreneurship journey, you have to first identify a problem. What problem you are going to solve for someone, okay? Identifying that problem is uh, the first thing, okay? Now, if you know, how do you know about the identification of the problem? Okay, problems are everywhere, okay? How do you identify? With whatever is your journey, whatever you have worked on and whatever you, you have worked on and uh, you, know, you must have seen something which uh, you know you didn't like and you, you want to change that, okay? Or you think that, okay, that is a problem here. I think that could be a solution. So that's it. So that means usually if you see all the entrepreneurs, uh, they are, uh, you know, idea usually come from, uh, you know, something they, they have worked on or they have experienced or they did not experience. That's why they think that they have to, they should, there should be an experience around that. So it is their own um, uh, exposure. Okay, which uh, you know get them to think about uh, how they can solve a certain problem. So exactly the same way, you try to see what is that uh, you know a problem you see, and uh, you know you can probably uh, possibly come up with a solution. Okay, uh, let me give you an, a very good example of uh, if you if you know Neil Patel, you know he's a kind of a influencer in this space of uh, internet or digital marketing okay or aco's and uh, you know it's quite a, quite a big shot now he came up with his own saas product called uh, uh, uber suggest now the uber suggest uh, you know became so popular um, that uh, you know he what he did is on his own website called neilpatel.com he just uh, created a forward slash uber suggest that's a part of his website but he was uh, he started to give, uh, you know, his SaaS based product where, you know, Ubersuggest is, uh, you know, you can, you can, um, uh, you know, do your own research, okay, 
on uh, you know search engine uh, um, optimized uh, you know um, ideas you can come up with ideas you can see the search volume you can uh, see what is trending or what is not trending on the market so it's kind of a more for you to create content and uh, to to market your product that is the tool he has developed okay now that becomes so popular now there is uh, you know millions of people go uh, to his website i think i was just watching one of his videos as well he was he was confirming uh, you know he was telling the same thing um so uh, you know you have to you know first uh, come up with uh, your problem what you see and then what you do is you hire a developer okay so that is the second thing okay you see a problem what do you do then you have to come up with a minimal viable product okay minimum viable product that means you don't have to go and build up the entire um, you know that sort of solution what you have in your mind for that problem you don't have to get it developed okay first thing is you don't have to develop that means you got an idea but you have to get somebody to develop it that would be a developer but with being you being an entrepreneur you don't have to or you should not be thinking about you know all these nitty gritties let people who are professional in that field let them handle that okay so that is that is a, uh, you know um, about uh, hiring so that means hire where do you hire well there is uh, you know upwork is a beautiful platform i have hired quite a lot of people on upwork as well freelancer.com is another uh, portal you know you can uh, hire freelancers um, you know uh, guru.com there are so many but upwork and freelancer are two um, of those portals which i have used so i you know i'm really happy about it so i think uh, you can also look into that so anything you want to de develop you can just uh, um, you know put your idea there and uh, you know people will bid for your project and they will give their quotation and you can screen people based on uh, you know how many how many hours of work they have done already and uh, you know you, you can read their uh, testimonials uh, you know uh, customer testimonials and uh, based on that then you can you can hire them but your first target should be to come up with the mvp minimal viable product so so that means as, as just a basic product okay not fully fledged developed product or a basic okay so you are just spending a bit of a money developing a minimal viable product why you are doing that is to check whether your idea because sometimes you may be coming up or you may have this idea but that you may think that's a problem but other people may not let the market decide that whether there is a demand for your product or not that uh, the product what you are going to develop that SaaS SaaS product what you are going to develop so so when you come up with a minimal viable product then you just uh, you know um, go for a basic uh, basic thing uh, you know and see whether the market is uh, responding how do you see market is responding on or, or not after you create a minimal viable product then you have to create a, a landing page okay again you, know, you don't have to have you know a very uh, sort of expensive uh, page this is just one page landing page and make sure that you have um, you know um, a way you can you can uh, uh, capture people's email address for example uh, let's say if you have a minimal viable product you say that okay uh, this product will be uh, you know um, available uh, on uh, after so and so date and uh, you know it will be for uh, if you are interested for 30 people i know we, we will give you give them one month free access or six months free access or 50 percent discount okay so let's uh, let the people see what kind of uh, product uh, you know uh, or let, let uh, uh, you first see if there is a demand or not okay so what you do then with the minimal viable product is uh, create a small video of minimal viable product and show them how this is that means your SaaS based product how it's gonna use or how it's going to solve their problem and that is what you can put up a video there on your landing page so that people see that okay oh how oh, this is the way it's working so they need to see before they even give you their email address and say that they are interested so that means that minimal viable product uh, you know will help you uh, with um, you know uh, uh, capturing that um, email addresses of the prospective customers or client so develop a landing page capture the pre uh, their email addresses uh, you know check their interest 
and uh, pre-sell your product. Okay, what does that mean? So that means uh, you can also, before even launching, uh, developing a full-fledged product, you can also start making money. And how is that possible? Well, you can pre-sell it, saying that, hey, we are launching with this product and first, uh, you know, 100 people, uh, you know, we receive a subscription base of 25 pounds or $25. Uh, but if you want to, uh, you know, subscribe now until this and this date, then you will get instead of $25, you get it in $5. Guess what? People will be crazy because, you, you know, if they have a problem, you're solving that problem and they see that, okay, this is an unbeatable offer and they will go and get it. Okay. They will give their or they, they buy, they will buy the product. Okay. And uh, so that means that before you even develop or before you even uh, develop the full fledged product, you will start to make the money as well. You have the money or you, can, you have the seed capital. And then once you see that the, uh, there is a demand and people are buying, you know, so then you scale your business, you have collected their money and then you scale your business and, uh, you know, and, and sky's the limit. So, um, so this is how you can develop your own SaaS based product and uh, make a recurring ongoing income. Okay, so it's a big field out there and let's start and make uh, good money out of it. Guys, my name is Som Som Prakash. I am a digital entrepreneur and digital entrepreneurship coach and I help people to set up their own online businesses and help entrepreneurs to go online to create a side hustle. So if you are interested to connect with me, if you have any questions, uh, check my, um, you know, Instagram and, uh, you know, Instagram uh, link and my YouTube and uh, uh, Twitter link as well to connect with me. I'm more than happy to ch have a chat with you. If you have any questions, if you've got any ideas, I'm uh, always, uh, you know, uh, welcome to, um, to, to connect with you. And I'll be only, always more than happy to uh, collaborate with people other entrepreneurs and to make a change in this world. Okay, with that, I'm done. And until the next video, over and out.